God made monkeys, monkeys are fun. So let's be a monkey, come on everyone. The best monkey sounds. Who can make the best monkey sounds? <laughs> <laughs> God made monkeys, monkeys are fun So let's be a monkey, come on everyone The best monkey sound Who can make the best monkey sound? God made monkeys, monkeys are fun so let's be a monkey, come on everyone. The best monkey sounds. Who can make the best monkey sounds? <laughs> Okay, Bunts, let's do this one last time. Okay, here we go. Down, sink, hike! I'm open, Bunts, I'm open here! Okay, whoa! Oh. Yeah. yeah! Touchdown! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Come on! Mm. Yeah, that was so cool. That was so cool. But you know what? We've been playing football for a really long time, and I'm exhausted. I'm just gonna have a seat right here, Buttons. Oh, um, okay. And, uh, and I'm just... Uh, um, Josh? Josh? Uh, poor little guy's all tuckered out. You just stay there and have a nice nap. A nice nap! Okay? Okay. <gasps> oh, um, uh, hi everyone! Uh, um, and is it time for VCC Kids already? Uh, well, uh, Josh is taking a nap right now, so... Not sure how to how to do this by myself, but oh wait, I have an idea. Um, oh hey kids, it's me Josh. Um, and and I'm Buttons. Yeah, hi Josh. We're we're so glad that you're with us today. Oh well, yeah, we are. Boy, we've got a fun time playing for everyone, don't we, Buttons? Oh, we sure do, Josh. But but first, um, let's all stand up to our feet. Oh, okay, Buttons, stand up, everyone. Oh yeah, it's time to shout out our, our truths to remind us of who God is and what he's done for us. Three, two, one. God is good to me. Jesus has forgiven me. everyone. Oh yeah, that was great. Everyone take a seat now. Uh, those words we shouted out were truths from God that we can hold in our hearts uh, forever. That's so awesome, Josh. Oh, it sure is. All right, Buttons, are you ready to see what our friends are, are going to teach us today? I sure am, Josh. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Hey kids, my name is Tiffany and this is my friend Reggie. Well, that's Dr. Reginald B. Winchester to you. Welcome to my lab, children. Miss Tiffany says that you are here to do a grand experiment about something called uh, generosity. Yes. Tilly! Tilly, do you have the last of the supplies? Tilly! Uh, has anyone I'm seen my lab assistant? On my way, Dr. Reginald. Okay. Be there in a jiffy. Yes, well, do hurry, please, Tilly. Waiting time while I'm young. Well, Reggie, while we're waiting for Tilly, how about we go uh. ahead and talk about what we're learning today? 
So generosity is when we give more of something than we have to, whether it's money or time or kindness or something else. Give? Tiffany, I like everything I have. Why would I ever give it away? Well, think about it this way, Reggie. We know that God is our good father, right? Yes, yes, God is our good father and we are his loved kids. You tell us that all the time. Well, Reggie, God is our good father and he gives us good things. He is generous to us with his love, with his forgiveness, and he takes care of us. He meets our needs. And it's not because he has to, but it's because he is our good father and he loves us. Okay, we get it, Tiffany. God is good and generous and all that. Hooray! Your point? Well, Reggie, when we have gratitude and recognize how good and generous God is to us, it allows us to be generous to others. We get to be generous with the good things God has given us. We get to love others. We get to meet their needs, too. Generosity gets to overflow from us and spread hope to others. Great, got it. Tilly! Tilly, why are you taking so long? Are you coming? Almost there. So, Reggie, did you know that you are being generous today by allowing us to use your lab for this experiment? Huh? Oh! Oh, but I guess I am, aren't I? Yes, that was so very generous of me. Yes, God has given you this amazing lab and all the chemicals, and you are being generous by allowing us to use your time and your resources, all your stuff, in order to learn the lesson today. Well, that's, that's pretty neat, isn't it? I'm a generous genius, so to speak. I'm ah! here with the last of the supplies. Yes, thank you so much, Tilly. So fast. Anyway, all right, everyone, now we are ready to begin the experiment. Please put on your safety goggles. There, Tiffany, yes, safety is of the utmost importance in the lab while we are conducting experiments. All right, I got it. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to overflow with generosity. So kids, first, I want you to imagine that you are this container. Hmm. Yes, see, this is ridiculous. Uh, this container looks nothing like a human. Human anatomy is not in the shape of, of a beaker. We're just pretending. <sighs> yes, that's right. We're just pretending for this lesson. So, kids, this container is you. And like I was saying earlier, we're gonna see what happens when we get filled up with gratitude. So all these things are gonna be things that we are grateful for. And if we get filled up with gratitude, how that just overflows from us. So for me, I am grateful that God loves me and that he sent Jesus to make me a part of his family. So I'm going to pour what I'm grateful for in here. So Reggie, what is something that God has given you that you are grateful for? Hmm. Well, I guess you could say that I am grateful for my beakers. They're amazing and I love them. They're fantastic, yes. Awesome, so this is going to be what you are grateful for. So I will just put that in right there. So Tilly, what is one good thing that God has given you that you are grateful for? My job. Working with Dr. Reginald and all of you. That is awesome and so sweet, Tilly. So this is going to be what you are thankful for. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And then I'm gonna, you get an extra special, special dose of gratitude over here, Tilly. All right, Aww. so I'm gonna put yours <laughs> right here. All right. So isn't this amazing? Look how full of gratitude we are for God's goodness and generosity in our lives. Yes, I think we are uh, missing something though. You are right. Kids, what's one thing that you are grateful for? Is it your friends, your family, your school, your house? Maybe it is your favorite toy. Now think about it and shout it out on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Great job. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour in the last ingredient to fill us up with even more gratitude for how generous God is to us. And let's see what happens. Okay. 
Whoa. Incredible. Look at that. Generosity is overflowing out of us. Fascinating. It actually worked. Look at that. Yes. So when we have gratitude and recognize how good and generous God is to us, it allows generosity to overflow from our hearts and spread hope to others. Because look at this foam. It's spreading all over, isn't it? Yes. God pours His goodness into us. Generosity flows out of us and it spreads hope to everyone around us. Oh yes, it's getting everywhere, all right. Spreading around, this is gonna be quite the mess to clean up, Tiffany. I'll get the paper towels. Thank you, Tilly. <laughs> Thank you, Tilly. So kids, we're going to learn more about generosity later, but first, I'm going to help Reggie and Tilly clean up this mess, and you guys are going to spend some time worshiping God, our good Father. So everyone, stand up to your feet. We are going to sing and dance because God loves you, and He is worthy of all of our praise and attention.
wanna love like you love I only wanna live how you live Jesus Your word will guide me It's not just a story A lamp unto my feet A brand new discovery Sure, our friends are here and uh... oh hey get hey kids hey everybody yeah so we, you missed some pretty awesome worship oh. and everything but 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 next we're gonna see what our friends are teaching us today oh awesome let's go yeah hi kids my name is Jen and I of course am Reggie Frog today we're learning about generosity we know that God is our good father who loves us and takes care of us and gives us good things when our hearts are full of that truth Generosity can overflow from us. Oh, uh, yes, I am the most generous, Miss Jen. So much generosity overflows from me, probably because God is the most good to me. I'm his favorite, you know. Uh, well, I don't know about that, Braggy Frog, but it's great that you have a generous heart. We're going to read a Bible story today that's all about a woman who overflowed with generosity. Oh, but that's great because I'm the best at reading stories, Miss Jen. I mean, trust me, I have a whole house that is a library. Have you ever heard of the classic novel by Dr. Seuss, One Fish or Two Fish? Brilliant. Mm. It's a tough read, but I can do it. Read it in a week. Yes. Wow. I, I have heard of that one. Well, before we start this story, how about we shout out some truths about the Bible, God's Word? Oh, yes, you bet, because uh, I can I can shout way louder than the kids can, because I'm, uh, I'm the best. I'm the best shouter there is. All right, that was pretty good, everybody. Pretty good. <laughs> Y'all did a great job. Are you ready to get started with our story, Braggy Frog? Oh, I'm always ready, Miss Jen. I was born ready. Okay, well, our story starts in Mark 12. Mark 12. Jesus was in the city of Jerusalem, visiting a temple where people worshiped God. He was watching the people leave money at the temple as an offering to God. About leaving money 
Oh no, why were they doing that? How, how crazy? Oh no, Reggie Frog, it was a good thing. It's like whenever our parents give money to the church, God can do big things with it. He can help the church to use it to reach people or help people or spread his hope or whatever that looks like. Mm. Yes, we're, I'm not completely sure about that. I mean, I could, I could help share hope by, by building a Ferris wheel or something. You, could, you can never feel hopeless on a Ferris wheel. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, so the people were leaving their offerings for God at the temple. And as Jesus was watching this, he noticed that the people who were rich were putting in a lot of money. Oh, I bet they weren't as rich as I am. Paupers compared to me, peasants. Well, but then Jesus saw a woman who was a poor widow come in to leave her offering. And she put two small copper coins that weren't worth very much. What do you mean, like two pennies? I bet Jesus was so upset. How dare she? No, actually, Jesus called his friends, the disciples over and pointed the woman out to them. He told them that the two coins that the woman had left were more valuable than anything that all the rich people had given. Oh, were they like super rare old pirate coins? Or something like that worth like $20 million each? I have five of those, they're at my beach house <laughs> on a mountain. No, the woman's two coins were hardly worth any money at all. But while they may not have been considered valuable to the world, they were valuable to Jesus. But, 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 but why? Does Jesus not understand how money works? No, braggy frog. See, the rich people had plenty of money to give and plenty more left over at home that they didn't give. It didn't cost them much to leave money at the temple for God. But the woman's two coins were everything that she had. So even though it didn't seem like it, she had a really generous heart. Wait, but hang on, hang on. But, but they weren't worth that much. What, how, how is that generous? Um, okay, so think about it this way. I have a chocolate bar. Okay. Well, it's the only candy bar I have. So, if I broke off a small piece and gave it to you, would I be giving you a whole lot? Well, no, because you'd still have the rest, the whole rest of the bar for yourself. That's right. But what if I gave you the entire chocolate bar? Uh, well, I mean, that would... Now would I be giving you a lot? Well, yeah, it's all the chocolate that you have. That's right. See, that's what the woman was doing. Those two coins were everything that she had. So she gave it all to God. I think I understand what you're saying, Miss Jin. You do? Yes. I cannot give God just one piece of chocolate. I must give him all the chocolate in the world. Yes, he will love it. Oh, what an offering. What a sacrifice. I had no idea that God loved chocolate this much. Oh, if I had known sooner, I would have bought it all. Jeremy, it's the big man. Yes, invest in chocolate. Invest everything. You heard me. All right, Miss Jin, I've got to go. Oh, okay. God is going to be so pleased. Oh, I have the most but, generous heart. Wait, Braggy Frog, that, that's not what... Um, okay, Braggy Frog kind of missed the point. We aren't learning about chocolate today. The woman in the story was so full of gratitude for how good and generous God had been to her that her response was to give something too. Those two coins may not seem like a lot, but they were a big cost to her, and it was a big deal to God. Generosity overflowed from the woman's heart. So guys, this story was about a woman being generous with her money, but there are a lot of other ways we can be generous too that also bring the hope of Jesus to the world around us. One way we can be generous is with our time. For example, instead of sitting at home and playing video games by ourselves, we can go play a game with our brother or sister or help out a friend or serve people in our neighborhood. Or we can also be generous with our things, like our toys, by sharing them with our friends or giving them to other kids who don't have any. Another way we can be generous is with our words. We can speak words of encouragement to people by telling them how much we love them. And if you do feel like God is inviting you to be generous with your money, that's great too. Remember, just like in the story, it's not about how much you give because God can do a lot with our little. It's about having a generous heart. Uh, uh, all right, Miss Jin, I have all of the chocolate. Uh, there's more in the boat. Probably more chocolate than you've ever seen. Where should I put it all? Um, okay, again, Braggy Frog, I don't think you quite got what we were talking about. 
See, God's not asking us to spend tons of money on chocolate. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what you said, Miss Jin. Um, you know what, Braggy Frog? Maybe we should reread the Bible story again. What story? The one about the woman who gave the two coins. Tell you what, kids, we'll see you next time. Remember, when our hearts are full of gratitude for God's goodness to us, generosity overflows from us to bring hope to the world around us. Bye. Access granted. Transferring data. Hello everyone, and welcome to Robot Review. Initiate greeting protocol. Hello everyone, it's your friend PraiseBot here with my robot friends. You kids all have lovely smiling faces today, don't they George Michael? Today is a great day. God is so good. Yes he is, PraiseBot. I think it is time to start. You're right, Lydia. Kids, we've been having fun talking about God and worshiping Him today. And now it's time to respond to what we learned. Here we go. All right, here are your questions. Can you think of a time someone was generous to you? What happened? How is God inviting you to overflow with generosity? Now, press pause so you can take a few minutes to talk about it. One, two, three. Go. You're right, George Michael. I think they're done. Great job, kids. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, that was awesome. Yeah. Man, I hope you guys had a great time talking about those questions. Oh, yeah, I sure had a good time. Did you have a good time, Josh? Yeah, I did. Oh, I sure did. Hey. That was a great what time. What is that? With all oh. those questions and all that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right, everybody, let's stand up on our feet. We're gonna end our time with one last song that reminds us about who God is and what he's done for us. Yeah! Yeah! We're so glad that you came. We had lots of fun together, discovering Jesus today. And what he's done for us for That's all the time we have for today, but I'm so glad you joined us. Now be sure to check out the links below for an activity guide. Oh yeah, and make sure that you ask your parents to hit the subscribe button so you can know every single time we post a new video. Isn't that right, Josh? That's right. Oh yeah, what? that's right, yeah. Buttons. That's, that's not buttons. <laughs> and you can also tell them to join the VCC Kids Parent Facebook group. They can search for it on Facebook and find the links below. Yeah. All right, Josh, are you rested up enough to play some more I football? Am. Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's go. We'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. Come on, Josh. Let's oh. go.